Uh, yeah, he uh, he ran pretty well this morning, so we're still hopeful he's going to be right. As as with Jack Noel, they're both progressing really well. No, more of a precaution. Uh, just looking at training loads, so we decided to give him a bit of a blow this morning. Precaution. What's the problem? Uh, no problem. You and you've coached against New Zealand for many, many years, haven't you? Um, how has that challenge changed? Uh, well, it's the most exciting week of the the rugby calendar, isn't it? Best four teams playing against each other. Yeah, you know, we get to play one of the greatest teams ever that are shooting for a three-peat, um, which has never been done. So that brings an element of of pressure to their team. Um, you know, New Zealand have, have consistently been good because they do the basics of the game well. One point in November, how much better do you think your side is going into this game? Uh, well, they'll be better as well, we know that. Uh, you know, they've run, Steve Hansen's run good World Cup campaigns before, so, you know, the best campaigns. So, we know they'll be well prepared, but certainly, you know, we just have to look at, at how our team has developed since then. Um, yeah, I think we're a much more rounded, much more aggressive team than we were then. And mentally, how much better are you since Well, I think we're progressing again. Uh, we're, we're moving in the right direction. We got through a couple of tests on Saturday really well, but we know we'll have a couple more tests on, on this Saturday. Looking back at that game in November, when we spoke to you after it, you said um, you were scored in the second half in the lineup. Barrett on, didn't they? And then there was obviously kind of Italian, what you can read. How much will that influence your selection this week? Uh, we'll be more concerned about ourselves than New Zealand. Uh, we know what New Zealand are going to bring to the bring to the party, and uh, we'll just work out what we need to have to win the game. And does that involve maybe changing the, the back row to give yourself another option in the lineup? Uh, well, there's always consideration to to who can play in the back row. <coughs> Do you think New Zealand do under more pressure than England? Uh, well, we don't have any pressure, mate. Put up your hand if you think we can win. There you go. So no one, no one thinks we can win. No one thinks we can win. There's 120 million Japanese people out there whose second team are all the All Blacks. So there's no pressure on us. We've just got to have a great week, enjoy it, relax, train hard, and enjoy this great opportunity we've got. Whereas they've got to be thinking about, well, this is their third, they're looking for their third World Cup, so that does bring some pressure. 16 years ago, you, you with Australia, weren't expected to win that semi final. You found a way to do it. Can you draw on that, that experience? That's a long time ago now. But. So when I asked that press conference, I think uh, half the people who put up their hands now put it up. Um, and that's the great thing about the World Cup. You know, you've got the top four teams in the world now. On one Saturday, you've got to be the best team for 80 minutes. And we've prepared for this game for two and a half years. You know, I can remember being in Kyoto two and a half years ago. Um, and quickly you could do the mathematics. Um, even the Australian could do the mathematics. That we were going to play New Zealand in the semi-final. So, you know, progressively we've built a game that we think we can take New Zealand with. And we've done that over the last two and a half years. So, you know, we're just excited about the possibility. None of your players, Eddie, have been on this stage. This is uncharted territory for them, whereas several of the New Zealanders have experienced this kind of platform. When you look in their eyes, your players, do you, do you feel any of them are struggling to handle this special platform? No, not at all. I think, uh, you know, if you look at what we've done as a team over the last four years, we've had some great wins, we've had some significant losses, we've learned from those. The, the players have learned how to work together um, and there's a togetherness in this team that's going to carry them through difficult periods in the game. Um, in the semi-final there's going to be big moments in the game that'll decide the game and I think we're well equipped to handle those moments. And do you say nobody believes you can win? It's not true, is it? Uh, well, I just I couldn't see too many hands go up, mate. Um, <laughs> 
Hey? No, no, no. Well, it's a good question is a fast question. You've got to be quick on the draw um, because your first reaction is always your, your most honest reaction. If you don't stick your hand up straight away, you don't believe it. And you don't. Like, you look at one week ago, I was going to get sacked. Owen couldn't kick. Uh, there was <laughs> someone wrote there was going to be blood on the walls at Twickenham. And now we're in a semi-final, and now we've got a chance of, of, of going through, and, and we're just excited about it. What would it mean to you personally to take him to World Cup uh, Well, it's more about the team. Um, you know, these guys, I've said it a number of times, I can't praise them enough for the way they've applied themselves to the task of being a good team. You know, I think the England team, it's... it's it's in unusual circumstances because you get so much media exposure, you get media pressure, you know, everything's scrutinised, the players are scrutinised, the coaching team's scrutinised. You know, we've got such a complex landscape in, in England and the players have just stuck to the task of what we wanted to be, which we said four years ago we wanted to be the best team in the world and we're going towards that. Do you think that scrutiny is good? Uh, look, it's there. It is what it is. Um, but you've got to be able to cope with it, and, and at times it is difficult to cope with. No doubt about it. How long after joining in 2015 did you start playing for this uh, Well, I think, you know, Owen might remember the first meeting we had. We spoke about we wanted to be the world's best team because you could see the, the ability was there, and we just needed to change a few things. Change the way we train, change the way we play, change the way we think, and, and we've progressively done that over four years. Um, and we've put ourselves in a good position at this World Cup now. Chris. John, Eddie's dealt with coaching against Australia, <coughs> you are now coaching against the All Blacks. Can you tell us how you're going to handle that? Do you compartmentalise it? Or how are you approaching it? Um, really no different to, to any other opposition at, um, uh, at the end of the day. I'm an assistant coach for England, and obviously. Yeah, have some have some knowledge, but I mean that knowledge is is built on you know childhood and, and, and the past. So really, it just comes down to preparing well and ultimately uh, uh, focusing on our strengths. Uh, again, we're we're really excited, mate. Um, we just got to keep working hard for each other, and um, yeah, we yeah, we're going to be tough, and we and we like we like being brutal as well. So uh, it's something that excites us. It's something that drives us. And it's in our DNA, so ultimately the, that's that's what we're about, and that's what we want to bring out on the weekend. Can you talk about the defensive performance against? Just how much that was joy to watch for you, or whether you still think there's edges of defensive? Oh, we want to get better. Um, ultimately, the defence is never finite. There's always some side trying to find some space, and 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 every week's different. Uh, what you, what you sometimes stop or uh, physically or. Um, execute really well. Uh, you, know, you, you leave something else that an opposition will look to seek. So, and, and New Zealand are good at that. So we're well aware of that. So um, yeah, it's never finite. And um, yeah, we want to get better. Um, that's that's what we're about. Eddie, uh, can I ask about Japanese tradition? You can ask. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, national event regarding of the changing of the emperor is held in Tokyo. How do you think, uh, do you have special emotion uh, being part of the uh, moment in Japan? Well, it's a, it's a change in the history, isn't it? You know, today is a change in the history of Japan, and we're going to have a change in the history of the World Cup. So it's a nice symmetry. Mm -hmm. I do believe in omens. Thank you. Uh, Eddie, the All Blacks like to play their mystique in the build-up to games like this. Um, are your players immune to that? Does it mean anything to them to walk back all over the uh, No, I don't think so. Uh, look, you know, our guys have experienced a number of our players. 17, I think, went on the Lions tour. They went down there, they played in their backyard. They, they know they're human. You know, they bleed, they drop balls, they miss tackles like every other player. And it's our job to take the time and space away. Um, so we put them under pressure. You know, the New Zealand talk about, the, about them walking towards the the pressure. Well, this week the pressure is going to be chasing him down the street. You know, that's the reality of it. That's how we're approaching the game. Yeah, we've got nothing to lose. That's the exciting thing for us. We can just go out there and, and play our game, play it as well as we can. If we're good enough, we'll win. If we're not good enough, we've done our best. Eddie, 
think at the end of that line three, you asked the guys to sort of give their thoughts or sort of dossier of like, um, have you dusted that down this week or, or, or what did you learn? From I think you've got a long range camera, mate. Hey? <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> you cheeky buggers, eh? Hey? So you were the bloke up in the apartment block today filming. Uh, no, uh, we've, the coaching staff's looked at the notes um, and uh, a number of the key principles that came out of that will be important in this game this week. Can you just give us any, any sense of what happened? Not really. Was there some in the apartment Possibly, but that's part of the deal, isn't it? You know, that's the fun of the World Cup. Day of the draw, you'd be preparing a team for a New Zealand semi-final. Yeah. Can you expand on that? Is that what you actually meant? That this game, this fixture, is the one that, that you've been Well, to do what you want to do, you've got to win. You've got to win all your pool games, and you've got to win your quarterfinals. So there's some hurdles you've got to jump over. It's not that exciting, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Where's he gone, <laughs> Dave? <laughs> hey, shit. Uh, and and the, and the calculations were they were going to top their pool, they they win their quarter final. We were going to top our pool, and, and we win our quarter final. So the end result is we're going to play them in the semi finals. So we trialled some things in the November game we wanted to do against them, and now we can do things a little bit better in this game. And now we've got the opportunity to do it. In, you've been speaking a lot about pressure and, and the lack of it, I suppose, on your team. What is it that you've seen from the All Blacks that leads you to believe that bomb? Uh, well, I, I don't think they're vulnerable. I think that, but the pressure's a real thing. You know, I think the busiest bloke in Tokyo this week is going to be Gilbert Anoka, the mental skills coach, because they've got to deal with all this pressure about winning the World Cup three times. You know, it's potentially the last game for for their greatest coach. It's potentially the last game for their greatest captain, and they're going to be thinking about those things. Those thoughts go through your heads. You know, it's always much harder to defend a World Cup. And they'll be thinking about that, and and therefore there is pressure for them. Any of uh, New Zealand spies on your teams in the front? Got no idea, mate. I think Mitch was one of them. <laughs> Mitch is. Have you seen him on? I'm not telling him. Seen him on Snapchat. He's got all these different disguises. <laughs> oh, he's got about 15 yeah. different disguises. So, look. Everyone, everyone knows what everyone else does. There's no surprises in in world rugby anymore. That's the great thing about the game. Yeah, you just got to be good enough on the day. Can you just clarify it? What happened? Sorry, uh, what happened today? What you saw? Uh, well, there's definitely someone in the apartment block filming, but it might have been a Japanese fan. Um, you didn't send anyone to go. And look no, we don't you, care, mate. You don't said, care. Sorry, you just said that everyone does that. Would you film? Would you film the? Yeah, we've got right? someone there now, mate. Hmm? We've got someone there now. <laughs> you answer that question seriously? Would you film another team? I haven't done it since. 2000 and uh, I better get the numbers right here. 2001, we used to do it. And do you think it's something sort of ethically wrong to do that? Uh, look, look, you just don't need to do it anymore, mate, because you see everything. Yeah, you can you can watch everyone's training on on YouTube or or whatever there is. There's everything out there. There's no there's no value in doing that sort of thing now. Absolutely zero. And at what point in the session did you realise? Uh, we knew from the start, mate. Doesn't change anything we do. Yeah, you know, we love it. We love it. If there's no value, why do you employ all these security people? We don't, mate. We've only got Prince Harry's. He might have to go back to Prince Harry soon. Uh, and we've got the ex prime ministers. So that's all we've got. Just two of them. Lovely chaps. Did you say New Zealand is an emperor of rugby and it's time to change? Uh, well, you said that. That's a good line, though. <laughs> <laughs> Get it up on your own blog, mate. Don't. don't don't, I won't take it from you. Chris. Owen, oh, from your uh, notes from the Lions draw, if you do keep any, what is relevant now from that experience? Um, I don't know, we'll see on Saturday. But, um, you know, the, the experience of, of, of playing down there was a, was a big one. Um, a big one for everyone involved. So it's, uh, I guess, I guess it is. It is that exactly that. It's experience, and um, you know, people people look to use that, and, and we will on Saturday. Yeah, when you talk about how other teams can get caught up in the All Blacks sort of mystique, can officials get caught up in it too? 
Uh, who are we talking about? Oh, Bill I'm Beaumont. Talking about referees. Bill Beaumont, good. <laughs> Not those sort of. Oh, referees. Uh, well, I think we've got. Uh, we're going to have one of the top four referees in the world. Has it been announced yet? Yeah. Okay, so you know who it is. So we've got great confidence in the referee. I mean, um, it is having all the pressures on the All Blacks and not on your team. Do you, are you not feeling any pressure at all? Uh, we're, we're excited. We're excited about about uh, a brilliant opportunity, like Eddie said, but to be part of a brilliant occasion as well. Um, I thought I thought last week I thought last week we played. We played like we wanted to in terms of in terms of not playing the occasion, um, in terms of in terms of playing how we wanted to, and uh, we'll we'll look to do that again this Saturday. Yeah, you've mentioned quite a lot about pressure on New Zealand. Are you assuming the All Blacks will watch this or read this or see this? Or Steve Hansen? Well, someone has to ask some questions, mate, because the New Zealand media doesn't. You know, you, you guys are just fans with keyboards. Um, so someone's got to ask them some questions about, about what's going on. Um, you know, our, the English media, as I said, one week ago I was going to get sacked, we couldn't play. So we, we deal with a completely different situation. So someone's got to do it, mate. Do you, what, what do you think Steve's reaction? He'll laugh. I'm sure he will. And in 2001, what was the team that you, you spied on just Guys, <laughs> has it got any relevance to Saturday? No. So, next question, please. Hey, yeah. You said that uh, 120 million Japanese, the All Blacks, is their second team. But there's nobody on the All Blacks who's as big as Eddie San in Japan. So, do you think that counts for a home field advantage? Well, I've seen all the All Black jerseys around. Um, and, you know, even my wife, uh, I've got to tell her to stop barracking for her. She's Japanese because Japanese are, it's like, you know, the samurai is a mystique character in, in Japanese history, and it's the same for all blacks in rugby. You know, Japanese people love that mystique of their, their haka and all that goes around that, and it's, it's, you know, that's their second team. That's their second team. Transcends the former coach. Yep. Yep. Heavy, all things being equal, injuries and everything like that. When did you know your team for this game? Bear in mind how long you've been playing. Well, we won't know until Thursday, mate. I don't know. We won't know. Until uh, Thursday, but we won't, won't know because, you know, yeah, our Wednesday session is an important session for us. It's where we test the condition of the players, whether they're right to play mentally and physically. So we don't. Obviously, we have ideas, but we don't select the team until until Thursday morning. Not even in your head, you have uh, we have a vague idea. There's always vague ideas going on. Uh, we're always looking to improve the team. You know, how can we improve the team? Uh, New Zealand bring different challenges in Australia. Uh, the ground conditions on Saturday will be different than it, than it was on last Saturday. Uh, we've got a different referee. Uh, there'll be a dif different atmosphere at the ground. So. All of those things are considerations we, we take into account. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Thanks, guys.